What's up guys? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. You don't know, I'm the host, the Journey. Today, as you can see by my shirt, the title is Star Seed. You don't know me about my planet shirt. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah, let's see. There's a planet shirt, whatever. Anyways, Star Seeds now, you know. I don't know how many people, how many of the viewers right now are con, you know, are familiar with the term star seeds. But star seeds are beings from other star systems in the universe. As you all know, we live in our universe, <laughs> you know. And if you look out in the night sky at night time, you will see a lot of stars, right? And these stars. You see out in the sky at night time, each, one, each and every one of the heavenly bodies are beings. So each star in the sky represents cells. Are, they are living things. Just bear in mind. Just bear in mind. Say they are formed of energy. We are energy too. We are no separate from the stars in the sky. They are energy. Um, I think plasma is the type of energy where they set them up or whatever. But they might vibrate very fast, you know. That's why they can give off light. Um, star seed now. So, star seeds, when, first, we have need to get into the fact say, um, human beings, planet Earth is not the only planet that there is. It would be really dumb of human beings to think that this is the only planet in existence. This is the only place where life can coexist with other life forms. It would be really dumb for humans to think that we are You know, it would be very self centered for human beings to think that we are This is not the only planet, and this is not the only planet where a different life forms, different frequencies um, coexist. You get what I say? No. To the method upon star seeds, right? And now I'm going to the definition of what star seeds are. Um, first thing more to explain is that Earth, this reality that we are in, we are a part of a star. We are a part of a star system. Our star would have been the sun. I need to get the energy from most of it. You get what I say? So our and whoever never knows that the sun is a star. Yeah, the sun is a star. The sun is just a more evolved star. You know. It evolved to a point where it can it have an electromagnetic field where it can have beings orbiting it, which is the planet. Not every single star reach the magnetic um, electromagnetic strength there, where it can actually pull um, bodies and you know. I go, <laughs> it's not even pull but I go explain more about these things um, because alright. It's the same like how a cell splits when it reaches a certain maturity. That's what the sun does and that's how planets form too. You know? The sun was there, same like you see the stars, and the star stars them reach a certain um, amount of a certain maturity till there is going to be something called a supernova where the star split itself. And then when it split itself you now the fragments of it that you know the when it split itself, it will form an object, a beam, an orbit around it, you know? And that's how planets are formed. So, <laughs> with that being said, I know that every single planet in our solar system came from the sun. You know, it's a part of the sun somehow, you know, in some way, you get what I'm saying? Now, we're not really explaining planets today, we're talking about star seeds. Now, star seeds are beings that, um, their souls, because we are all energy, right? So star seeds are souls that are, that were born on other planets, other star system. As I said, Earth, this star system is just one star system. This, the center of our star system is the sun, um, and you don't know the sun is a star. Now there are other star systems similar to our star system, our solar system, and the the most in the universe, and. Most of them more evolved than this star system. This star system is very young. Our star system that we are in right now is very young in evolution. You get what I say? It literally, you know, it's it very young. Just, just met it still. So, so there are many star systems where we are more evolved. You know, there are, you know, this 
there's a serious star system which directly um, connected to Earth because it's literally Earth beings in the higher dimension. That is serious. I guess I'm asking about give that for the next time. Star system. It exists. <laughs> anyway, I'm just not following that. I don't know it, but maybe I'm bird. You know. Anyway, star systems. Um, exist all over the universe. Beings born from the star system them. The souls them born and the star system them. And them ev evolved throughout many star systems. And they are called star seeds. We on Earth call them star seeds. Many of them are incarnating in our Earth right now. Um, due to the fact say. Earth has gone through evolution. She has shifted from 3D consciousness to 5D. And a lot of these um, star seeds who, are, who have existed in dimensions between 4th and upwards, from 4th upwards, have come to Earth now because they you know they've do it already. They've been through this already and they've been through the 3D. So now they're at a vibrational state where they can help Earth beings for real them consciousness, you know, to actually help the planet raise our consciousness too. So, that is star seeds, and a lot of them there in this time, a lot of us and I go, you know what I just tell you in this video, star seeds, I go to some characteristics of star seeds, you know, star seeds, you know, I always feel like, say, when I want to go home, there's always going to be this calling, there's this inner feeling, there's always going to be an inner feeling that this place, this planet is not home, you're going to always want to go back home and that's why you know that you're a star seed. Now, that is the thing, you see the planet where the soul is born from, the planet where the soul is born, the soul will always have a calling back to that being there because, you know, back to the planet because that there is the essence. Day. You get what I say? So as I say, souls born and in a different different star systems throughout the universe. And when the soul is born, the soul is have a twin flame, you know, just leave. Now, uh, this is about star seeds, right? Yeah, star seeds. So souls are born in different star systems. When they're born in a different star systems, they experience a regular life like earth beings, evolution and all of that until they reach a certain point in evolution that they want to explore them inner self and they want to tour other planets now they want to serve other planets and all them things there and I say find them are incarnate in the earth right now because they want to help you know they are beings of light yeah they are beings of darkness to a lot of them a lot of star seeds are very evil they come from different planets and want to do very evil things and then they are too they are here too you know, in this time it is prophesied that um, good will win, and that is why I see so much black people that wake up to the internet. A lot of black, more, really more spiritual channels that will come out, and the spiritual side of life are just be more magnified. And yeah, just tune in, and you know, it's a wonderful experience. As we say, star seeds, them way more sensitive to that second characteristic. Them way, way more sensitive to like um, you know corruption, and we are more sensitive to the problems of the world because the average human beings seem the average human beings really seem dumb or blind to what's happening in the world. Star seeds see things and feel things more than the average human being. So people always say them too sensitive. They love more too. They love deeper. So things that will affect star seeds, human beings. It will not affect the average human being, you know, because human, the average human being don't really have that capacity to feel love as much as a star seed. You get the message. So them love deeply, care deeply for others, and that's so you find so them teach people because them care and love so much that they come from feeling planet and I try to help another planet. I try to help another star system to grow, you know. So that's them evolve, them reach a level of evolution where, well, the ones, the, the, the beings of light, I may talk about. You have the beings of darkness to come from other planet where they're not really bad, they just have a lower state of consciousness. They may really understand love it. And
and that's just the thing. Give him some time, man. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, Earth actually from now 5D realm, you know, where 5D consciousness deal with more spiritual, more understanding, you know? And all of that, so. I have to go to something there, uh, video, uh, entire video on characteristics of, of star seeds and different star systems because right now G is not telling you the truth. Kinda high. So, big up the journey YouTube channel. <laughs>